What I want to go over today is just basically how to structure your own program. I get a lot of questions every day, DMs, emails, asking what routine I use uh, to get to my goals. Uh, so I'm just basically to show how to structure or, or just how to build a, a skeleton program that's gonna burn fat and then build muscle as long as you're doing the things you have to in the kitchen or diet-wise, nutrition-wise, uh, to support whatever you're doing in the gym. I'm gonna show you what I kind of do as a, as a skeleton for everybody, all the people that I coach. I kind of start them similar to this structure, no matter if they're powerlifting, athletic training, or whatever, uh, performance training, um, because it has the best of all worlds in this style of, of skeleton programming, okay? So um, I just have, it's gonna be a little ghetto-fied, it's because I have kids, I have this little um, sheet that I wrote on, okay? So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've already written in the, the rest days, so, you gotta rest on Wednesday and rest on Sunday. Okay, so the reason why this is like this is because we have kind of two, if we split it up in two, our upper body and our lower body. Um, we want to go at least a day in between rest for pressing days or upper body days, just because they're smaller muscle groups, they recover faster. They don't need as many days to recover that muscle group so that you can um, bring it to fatigue again or, or st stimulate it in any type of way you're trying to, to get it to grow. So, but the legs, there's so many uh, more bigger primary movers, like your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. Those things take a lot of time to recover. So if you wanna help them grow or even condition them, they have to have a little more rest in the upper body because they're not as smaller muscle groups. So what, how I usually structure it is, so if, I, if I'm doing upper body, I can do upper body three times a week safely. Because then that allows me to have at least one or two days in between each pressing day, pressing or pulling day on those days on the upper bodies, okay? So how I structure my, as a skeleton, usually what I start out with my athletes, I'm coached thousands of people, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, uh, or Monday, Thursday, Saturday, at least one day in between, it's gonna be an upper body day. So um, I'll just, right now, just a, a basic skeleton program. So let's say bench on Monday, and then we'll bench again on Friday, uh, but I'll, or, or Saturday, but I'll show you how I split it up, okay, into the rep schemes or, or how the structure of the actual lift is going. So bench on Monday and Saturday. So I'm gonna throw in another pressing day in between. So I'm gonna put it on Thursday. So I'm gonna, just a shot in the dark, you can either put like a, con a compound barbell lift, so incline bench or, or uh, barbell shoulder press. So for right now, I'll use barbell shoulder press. So if you look at this right now, so we basically have bench on Monday, bench on Saturday, and then barbell shoulder press, be seated or standing, whichever, on Thursday, resting on Wednesday. All right, so now we have three days left, so that's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. So Sunday's gonna be a rest day. So then now Tuesday and Friday will be our lower body days. So I like to accompany those days with my, um, fuller body days too so say on tuesday i'm gonna go um a front loading day so front squats so barbell front squats and then on friday i will go another uh leg dominant day or i can go two which ways with this i can go barbell way or i can go machine way and just for the the sake of the the video of, of just trying to power building style let's just say we have uh barbell squats back squats Okay, so with those leg days too, so I see barbell front squats, barbell back squats, so now I have one, two, two days in between that, that first squat day, and then one, two, or so, and then one, two, three before that next Tuesday where some, I would be redoing this week sort of with a little bit of uh, altercation or um, uh, a little bit of uh, modifications. All right, so now I wanna, uh, add something that's gonna be a fuller body lift with those, those lower days too, because those are the big energy expenditure days. So I'm just gonna put something like, um, let's go trap bar deadlifts on, on uh, Tuesday, okay?
And then Friday, we can go with a regular barbell uh, deadlift. So even right now, this is, this is a very balanced, structured programming already. And I'm not even going over rep schemes. Uh, I'm not going over rest times, intensities. Uh, but for right now, we got, we're pressing three times a week, uh, flat bench on two days. And then on Thursday, we're gonna be doing a barbell shoulder press. You can sub that with a incline or a barbell floor press. There's all these alterations you can make to this style of skeleton programming. But you see that we have barbell squats on Friday, barbell deadlifts with that same day, front squats with trap bar deadlift. So all these, this has a theme in terms of how you're writing your programming. So this is a front loading day, which is a quad day. So this is gonna force my body to want to grow sp specifically to the muscle groups that, that are primary. So that front loading part is my quads, a lot of core work, uh, a lot of traps and then and upper back and then to, from the trap barbell deadlift and then from the front squats too, so that, that having to keep that vertical position, core, quads, everything like that, right? So there's always a theme. And so with barbell squats too, that's gonna pre-fatigue the lower um, posterior chain. So then now my barbell deadlifts will have to work a little bit harder and then cause more growth. So there's a pre-fatigue for the deadlifts, all right? So right now this is a five day split. So that's a mandatory, like I always give a mandatory of two days rest no matter what when I first start. And then depending on someone's um, experience level, then you can go on to do different variations of different styles of programming. But this is a very basic uh, power building style programming. Um, if you wanna learn a little bit more about how to, to structure programming better or more intricate, just comment below and I'll make a second video and then we can go over rep schemes because as of right now, I just won't because it'll take a lot of time. But with the Monday and Thursday and the Saturday pressing days, they all have different rep schemes. So say Monday would be a heavy day, so a heavy pressing day, so that's anywhere from power to strength. So power and strength from one to five reps, and then those, the total volume is not gonna be as high, but on the Thursday and, and Saturday, so the Saturday would be a more hypertrophy day, and then you could, uh, you could take that with a, a lower, like a dynamic day, so less reps, with more sets, with, with the emphasis of speed, explosion, and then the concentration of the technique of the rep. Um, and then Thursday can be a, a juggle of the air, so it could be uh, halfway in between, uh, it could be a failure day, so then lower with a high rep scheme, um, so hypertrophy, so eight to 12 reps, anything like that. Um, so that's gonna cause on the muscle breakdown, and then it'll cause a little more ligament work too. So that's, it's actually good to do a lot of volume too because of the injury prevention aspects of the blood flow coming into the joints, the ligaments, anything like that. And then that Saturday, like I said, you could you can interchange that with an explosion or another power day or a hypertrophy day. And this would be the exact same thing with the, the Tuesday to Friday, front squat to trap bar to barbell, squats to barbell deadlifts. And these are all interchangeable. Cause I would, so say, say on this Friday, I could interchange this with Hatfield squats instead of barbell squats or um, closed feet, uh, machine um, leg press. So anything that's gonna be loading those primary musclers that I wanted from the initial structure, these can all be interchangeable. So if you wanted to see more about this, you wanna hear uh, maybe how to structure the second week after that. So this is just how to, to structure full blocks of uh, what they call muscle cycles. So that four week blocks with these are the individual micro cycles in between, so they're the one week blocks, all right? So you would be doing this basically for one month and then with, with a, a alternating alternating uh, volumes and intensities throughout the weeks. And on the fourth week of traditional uh, programming, you're actually gonna take a deload. So if you wanna know more about that, comment it down down below so that I can actually see that what you guys wanna know because I have a lot of information on this. This is my specialty. Um, and I would love to give down the breakdown on the rest schemes and how much volume total you're supposed to be doing to the next week planning. And then more importantly, that next block. So how do I progress all these lifts and how do I progress the actual loads and the technical lifts on them? So how can I get better at the technique while getting better strength-wise, power-wise, size-wise? And this is gonna in turn make sure that I can decrease my body fat at the same time.